Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi, Mom. I already renamed you. Hi, Mom. Hello, Gentry and Gemma. Hi. What are you guys doing? Well, we're just in our living room. Oh, there's Jake the snake. Hi. Hi, Jake. Happy birthday. Hi. My friend Sydney's here. She doesn't want to be in it. Uh, how do you spell Sydney's name? S Y D A. S Y D. Birthday. What? Birthday. Birthday. So, Jake, when is your birthday, bud? January 4th. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, happy early birthday. Hi, Maggie. On the first day. Hi. It's Hi. on the first day of school. Ooh. Hi. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Mine's today, and I get to be stuck at home. So. I'm Lucky going me, to right? After we finish with the meet. What did you say, Gentry? I didn't hear you. I'm going to Stella's house after the meet. Hey, that would be fun. I'm going to play with Sydney after this. What grade is Sydney in? Six. Six. She's three grades higher than me. She says she's old and has, and she's putting her um, fingers up to her face like she's a beard going like this. <laughs> So does Sydney live near you, Jake? What? Does Sydney live near you, or you just know um, her? Like 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away, basically. Oh, okay. Our moms are really good friends. Aww. Well, we'll give it a couple more minutes to see if anybody else thought, well, maybe just like another minute, because I'm not sure if any more people will log on. So. <sighs> so we got Gentry and Gemma going to play at Stella's house. Anybody else have any big plans for today? Jake, playing with Sydney? Oh, I got six. I got um, I got sixty-five bucks for my birthday. Dang, that's a lot of dough, buddy. My grandma um couldn't come to my birthday, so I'm going down there, and I may get more money. That's nice. Give me some money. I'm not donating you any, Mom. You donated it to our milkshakes yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give your mama some money. I I bought all of us milkshakes yesterday. Oh, Jake, you're so sweet. He complained Never about, about it for like five minutes, but then, it, but in the end, he got a corn dog and a slushie. So, <laughs> all right, guys, let me get my slides up. We're gonna get this thing rolling. Share screen. In case you didn't know, we have a board game theme this month. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, oh gosh, for life. So it's like Candyland. <laughs> it's a bunch of different games mixed into one, one, one big game. All right. So, hey guys, it's a brand new year and a brand new month at our jump. This one's our virtual jump because we're not at church, but um, we've got a super fun theme this month that will test your board game skills. I love board games. Do you guys love board games? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy does. So, what are some of your guys' favorite board games? Sydney, what's your favorite board game? Um, sorry. Sorry, that is a good one. Or guess who? Gemma, what's yours? Memory, because I always beat everyone. It's because you have a good memory, right? <laughs> All right, Maggie Grant, you got a favorite one? Yeah. Say it loud, I can't hear you. Monopoly. And did you say Clue too? Yeah. Yes, I love those two also. Yes, Rebecca and Ruben, what is your favorite? Candy Lake. Candy Lake. Okay, Grace. 
What'd you say, Ruben? Cupcake race. Cupcake race. Gentry, what's yours? Um, I was going to say there's a game. It's a TV show. It's called Carmen San Diego, and they made a board game over it. Yes! That was my favorite growing up. That was like, that is actually so old, but they've like revamped it for you guys. Jake, what's yours? Um, um, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a game called Escape Room. Oh, yeah. I still love it, even though it's 12 and older. And older. <laughs> it's because you're so advanced beyond your years, Jake. All right, well, some of my favorite are this game. It's called Stratego. It's basically a capture the flag type of deal with, like, old, like, oh, I, play, I, I play that with my dad sometimes. And it's like soldiers against soldiers. Yeah. It's red and blue. And another one I like is... I can I just said that. You go through the national parks. This is actually fun. You can learn some things, right? So in any board game, you've got to follow the rules, right? You've got to follow. You've got to play the responsible way. So that's true about life, too. So in fact, that's what we're talking about this month is da, 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 responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what, what is expected of you. So let me say that again slower. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. So all month long, we'll find out how we can follow some simple rules of life and live every day in a responsible way. Are you ready to find out how to play our board game for this month? It's called Jump Island. The name is epic, I know. I Like most board games, the object of the game is to move our piece along the board to finish the line. So here's our board game, right? So we're gonna try to make our way from up here all the way down to this beach chair, right? So, to move ahead each week, we'll have to complete a challenge. If we complete all the challenges, we win, right? So today, it's the headband challenge. How many of you guys have played headband? Right, good job. All right, so here's how it works. I'm gonna wear a headband today. Um, I won't see the card. And, but all of you can, and I'm going to put on this eye mask. So obviously that I don't see the card. Let me exit out of this bad boy. So I'll put on my eye mask. I'll put my headband on. Here are the cards. I didn't look. They're right here. Blah, 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 blah. And then I have to ask you yes or no questions, right? So, and that's how we went. If I get stuck on one, we'll have to move on to another one because we have a minute to try to figure this out. I'll set my alarm on my clock. We're playing headbands. Playing headbands, yes. All right, so let me get my timer set because once I put my eye mask on, I'm not going to be able to see, obviously. So are you guys ready? Because I don't want to sit here with this eye mask on forever. <laughs> are you guys ready? I'm going to make you. No. All right. So you're going to need to unmute yourselves because I have to ask you yes or no questions. Remember? All right. So here we go. <laughs> okay. This is going to be so silly. Let me get, all right. Tell me if this is upside down when I put it on my, I'm shuffling them in case you guys didn't know. Is this right side up? I can't see it. The light's kind of making it glare. Oh, yeah, it's right side up. Yeah, it's right side up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is so silly. All right, guys. <laughs> I need to start my alarm. Let me. I can't tell what it is. Here, let me close my blinds. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's way better. Yeah. The glare's a lot less. Okay, I'm going to start my alarm or my timer for one minute. All right, so ready, set, go. All right, is it a person? No. no. Is it a thing? Yes. yes. It's well, a thing. Maybe. Is it something you play with? Is it a game? It's no. not exactly a thing. It's not exactly a thing. Okay. Is it an animal? No. 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 Is it, it would be a really ugly one if outside? It was. Is it outside? Yes. 
Yes. I say, is it grass? No. no. <laughs> you can. Is it the sun? Is it the sun? No. no. Is it no. trees? No. no. Am I getting close? No. 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 Very, very tall. But but when you said trees, you were actually kind of close. Okay. Um. Is it okay? So kind of close. If I'm going. Way to taller trees. than a tree. Mm -hmm. Way taller than trees. Okay. Yeah, um, we're not around oh. here. Is it? Oh, way taller than trees. Okay, if I were hiking, I would go up a hill. Is it a hill? No, 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 no but close, 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 close. It's close. Is it? It's a hill. It's going up. Is it a mountain? Yes, yes. mom. Why are you yelling? Yes, hear you. <laughs> awesome. We did it. Let me see. It's a mountain. Awesome, guys. You guys did great. <laughs> That was perfect. So, da 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 da. Who's chatting? I got AirPods in my birthday. Oh, cool. You got AirPods? Hadessa got AirPods for Christmas, Grant. I'm assuming that's Grant, or is it Maggie? So, okay, let's see our game board. Moving on to our game board. Reason. So we did it. Our person is moving. We made it to the march. Way to go, guys. We made it to the march. March, like where the hippo is at on the board game. So each week I got a skateboard for Christmas. Awesome. Let's talk about what we got for Christmas after this and for our birthdays, all right? So we made it to the march. Each week as we play Jump Island. As we play Jump Island, it's our responsibility to complete the challenge and get to the next section of the board game. So I wonder where we'll end up next. I don't know, but we're going to have Miss Lee present our story today and I've got her on my desktop. So let me get that ready. I'm gonna mute everybody so we don't cut the thing out. All right, let's not do any more chatting during our story time, all right? Close. Share the screen. All right. You guys ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. It's a new year and I hope about what God will do through all of us here at Chapel Hill. We've been given a big responsibility to follow Jesus and to share the good news about him with others. But what does it actually mean to follow Jesus? What does it mean to live his way every day? What's the number one rule for life according to Jesus? Well, one time someone asked Jesus that exact question. Wait till you hear what he had to say. During the last week of Jesus' life on earth, Jesus went to Jerusalem. He knew that soon he would have to give up his life on the cross to pay for the price for our sins. But when Jesus entered the city, a cheering crowd was waiting for him. It looked like everyone was happy and excited that he had arrived. But Jesus knew that wasn't the case. The religious leaders known as the Pharisees had been out to get Jesus. Jesus often spoke out against what they taught and they didn't like how Jesus claimed to be the son of God. Jesus was in the temple surrounded by people who had come to worship God. Some there had welcomed Jesus to Jerusalem, but were also Pharisees who listened for a chance to make Jesus look bad. So one of the Pharisees asked Jesus the question. Teacher, he asked, which is the most important commandment in the law? Now you have to understand that Jewish people had 613 different laws to follow. Plus, they had made more rules to keep from breaking the 613 laws. That's a lot. The Pharisees thought that the only thing that mattered was keeping the laws and the rules. They figured that if they could follow the laws and rules perfectly, that they were better than everyone else. Now, the Pharisee was asking Jesus just to pick one of those laws as the most important. Jesus knew the man, was, the man was trying to trick him. So let's see how he responded. Jesus replied, 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Jesus made it very simple. He said that the greatest thing we can do is love God and love others. That day, Jesus reminded everyone what was really important. It's not about simply following the rules. It's about having a relationship with God and obeying him because we love him. Today is the first time that we're able to have the Bible story here at Jump. When we look back at 2020, it was a tough year for a lot of people. I think in the future, the people will study the year 2020 in their history classes, and I hope they learn from some of our mistakes. But I think as people look back in 2020, they'll see some good things too. I think they'll see the way people showed love in the middle of difficult times, just like Jesus talked about. One way was like a lady named Emily Richardson in Carlton, Georgia. Emily started video chatting with an elderly person who couldn't leave her house. Emily didn't know this woman at all, but she got to know her over several weeks. Emily even picked up groceries for her and prayed with her. Now they're friends and they take time to meet together in person. Emily wasn't the only one who showed others the love of Jesus. Healthcare workers like nurses and doctors put in extra hours to take care of those who are sick. And we have several of those who are your parents and members at Chapel Hill. Churches all across the country opened food banks to help people that were out of work to get food. Kids visited nursing homes and simply waved to people from outside their windows. Sometimes when something is difficult, when something difficult is happening in the world all around us, it's hard to know what we can do to help. Maybe you thought, I'm just a kid, but what can I do? You can show how much you love God by showing love to other people. Listen to what the Apostle Paul wrote to his young friend, Timothy. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live. Also set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. Timothy was a lot younger than Paul, but Paul wanted him to know that he could still do exactly what Jesus had said to do. He could love God by loving others. Think about it. What are some ways that you can show love to others around you? You could share your lunch with a friend. You could... Bring your dirty dishes to the sink to help mom or dad, or you could even wash them. You could take out the trash instead of trying to cram everything into the top. That would show love to your parents, right? You could take time to talk with a friend who's going through a tough time. And don't worry if you can't say the perfect, think of the perfect words to say. Sometimes all you have to do is listen. There are lots of ways that we can show love to others. After all, that's what Jesus said is the most important, to love God and to love other people. In fact, Jesus gave the perfect example of what it means to love God and others. Jesus obeyed what God wanted him to do. He allowed himself to be put to death on the cross for us. He put our needs before his own. He loved us so much that he was willing to die so that we could be forgiven and have a relationship with God that will last forever. If Jesus did that for us, we can love others too. The good news is we don't have to wait to show love. This responsibility is huge, but we can act now. As followers of Jesus, we have a responsibility to love God by loving others. That's what Jesus said is the most important, the number one rule for life. Bottom line, love God, love others. So let's pray and ask God to help us put love into action. So let's pray. God, thank you for loving us so much that you sent Jesus to be our Savior. Please help us see how we can love others this week and show them how much you love them. Give us this courage to obey even when it's not easy. 
we know this is a big responsibility. We want to do what you expect of us because you love us so much. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lee. All right. Let me get my slides back up here. What you do? All right. So that was a cool story, right, Dad? Yeah. So the Pharisees tr tried to actually trick Jesus, but Jesus saw through their schemes and he wanted everyone to understand what was most important. And if you can remember, what was most important is love God, love others. Can you guys say that in your houses? One, two, three. Love God, love, love others. others, right? It's, that's it. It's just that simple. If we want to follow Jesus, we have a responsibility to love God and love others. When we understand how much God loves us and we remember what he has done for us by dying on the cross for each of us, that changes us. It should change the way we do things. It makes us want to love others. It makes us want to treat others the way you want to be treated. Don't forget, when, pe when other people see how you love them, they can see how much God loves them too. They actually see what's in our hearts. So we are going to get out our extra devices. It's time for our Kahoot game. Go to Kahoot.it. Let me pull my thing up real quick. <clears throat> Share screen. Let's go on. There you go. We're gonna take five, like five minutes or ten. Uh, what name are you using? Hi, Jensen. <laughs> All right, put in the screen. Is that you, Grant? <laughs> Parker Pear. Love it. Uh oh, we lost somebody. Who is this? There you are, Maggie. Prepare Maggie, Grant, Ruben, waiting on Rebecca and Jake. <laughs> Rebecca's all about those emoji. Got Jake the snake coming. I'm typing it in. Oh, Sydney's playing. Or is that you, Jake? Is that you, Jake? Yeah, I tried. Okay, I'm going to get us started, okay? I started off with a silly question, so everybody should get it. Are you ready? Okay, just come in. What year is it? That's <laughs> I know what year it is. Is it 2020, 2022, 2021? Are you there? there you go. Nope. You know, some people be like, I don't know. This isn't fair. I have a sixth grader on my team. No, <laughs> well, you should be pressing the buttons, Jake the Snake. All right. You've got a sixth grader on your team, but the Parker pair are pulling in the lead. All right. And Grant. Responsibility is showing you can be what with what is expected of you. Saved, baptized, lukewarm, or trusted. What do you pick? Trusted. 
This is what we're going to learn this month. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you, that people believe that you're going to do what you say you're going to do, right? I'm going to turn uh -huh. uh -huh. right? Oh, Jake and Sydney are moving up. Parker Pear is still in the lead. True or false? Each of us has a big responsibility to follow Jesus and share the good news about him with others. Do we have a responsibility? Yes, we do have a responsibility. Ooh, okay. still going. Grant has the highest streak. True or false? The religious leaders in Jesus' day were called Pharisees. That is true. They were called the Pharisees. Ooh, Jake and Sydney pulling in the lead. <laughs> Gotta be fast with those answers, Reuben. True or false? The Pharisees wanted Jesus to look good by asking him questions. No. You pick true. No, they want him to look good? False. That is right. It is false. They were trying to trick Jesus. They were trying to make him look bad by choosing a wrong or saying a wrong thing. Oh, Sydney and Jake, you fell. But the Parker Pear and Maggie are pulling through. Okay. We still have four more questions. What did Jesus say when the most was the most important commandment to the Pharisees? Did he tell them to go to church, love God and love others? Got it. I it. Good job. Y'all were paying attention today. Love God, love others. Parker Pear still in there. True or false? There isn't anything we can do to the, during their coronavirus era to show God's love to others. There's not one thing we can do. I got it first. No, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. And, and you're wrong. That is false, guys. We can. We can do things to show love to others. It's just we have to be creative in the way we show love to others. You could make a card. You can go help your parents with the dishes. And there, it said there is. There, well, it says there is not anything. Isn't is an attraction. It was true or false. It's a statement, and then you have to say if it's true or false. Oh, Maggie's pulling in the lead. Quiz. Jesus gave us the perfect example of loving God and loving others by doing what? Dying on the cross for everyone's sin, preaching to lots of people, feeding people, or healing people. That's right. You guys know it. He died for each one of us, every single one of us. All right, Rebecca has a high streak score. Last question, guys. True or false? It is our responsibility to love God and love others. You got it. You guys paying good attention today. So let's look at our podium. Number three is Rebecca. Parker Pear pulling in second. Oh, what happened? Ah, back to podium. We'll go there. Let's see who our winner was. Who is it? Is it Maggie? Maggie. Mama, Maggie. Runners up for Grant and Ruben. All right. Good job, guys. All right. Now's the time to talk it up. What did you get for Christmas and your birthdays? Okay, Jake. Jake? For everybody else at home. You going to tell me what you got for your birthday, Jake, or are you going to show me? He just ran to go grab something and now he's back. He's like, oh, wait, he can move. <laughs> he's showing us something. What is that? A TV? Hey, a TV. That's the what You have the Roku. That's what we have. Yeah, we have a Roku. <laughs> yeah, me too. We, we have a Roku, too. See, how much is right here? Hey, Grant, Maggie, what's it helping out? What does that mean? Here's my skateboard. Oh, look at Tree and Gemma. 
This is that's what I got for my grandma for Christmas. That's nice. It's Legos. I got a sewing machine for Christmas. <laughs> We're running out of time. Yeah, we're running out of time, guys. Alrighty. I get um I'm gonna have see if Grant can tell me what on the keyboard what is O and O. What does that mean? All right, guys. Well, you, Jake, you have a happy birthday tomorrow. You guys stay safe. Good luck with your, your schooling tomorrow. Hi, Jensen. We'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.